All right, folks. Let me set the stage for you. We have Ilya Ilyin in front of his home crowd in 2014 for his second attempt at 187 kilos. This is the 2014 World Weightlifting Championships. And this crowd is electric. His coaches with the classic weightlifting coaches. Jumpsuits, Ilya with the classic get your grips and rip style, and just a beautiful snatch. Drops the bar a little high, but you know, He's got to show love to his people. So now we have David Bedjanian of Russia with 187 as well. Now, remember, this was before the rule change to whoever hits the weight first wins. That's the current rule. But the rule back then was whoever was at a lighter body weight wins with the same weight no matter when they hit it in the competition, even if it was after one of the other competitors. So just like that, Bejanian propels himself into the number one spot. Now we have Ruslan Nurodinov out of Uzbekistan. Comes out and says, hold on a minute. These hairy shoulders and dad bods still have some snatching to do. I'm here to show you all which stand is better. Tongue out swagger. A little bit of a walkout and boom. He nails it. So now we're back to Ilya, the hometown hero for his third attempt. Coaches again with the zebra print jumpsuits. Big walkout, but able to make a grindy 190 snatch, which again catapults him into the lead. And of course, he's got to stay out there, get the crowd going a bit. Are you not entertained? But wait, now we have another guy out of China named Yang Zhe who's saying, what's up, Almaty? Big brother China is here. We've got a few folks who can lift with the big dogs and not just the middle weights and lower. And Yang absolutely starches 191 kilos for a beautiful lift. And a nice little double fist pump there. So our goal physique, hairy shouldered, tongue out, dad bod god, Nurodinov can't take 191 because he's heavier than Yang. So he gambles a little bit and goes with 193 for his third attempt. I mean, my man's got the Gene Simmons from Kiss Tongue going on. He goes up, makes this lift, and stuns the Kaz crowd. They're starting to think, man, maybe we aren't the coolest stan around. Young then goes for 193 for the win on body weight and misses. So there you have the snatch portion. Norudinov with the gold in the snatch, leading Yang Zhu by... Two kilos, Ilya by three kilos, and the Russian Bejanian by six kilos. Now in weightlifting, there are medals awarded for the snatch event and the clean and jerk event, but the big medal that really matters is the total, which is both of these events combined. So now we're on the clean and jerk session, and sadly, Yang Zhu was only able to log a measly 220 clean and jerk in the middle of the session. This man truly is a snatch specialist but he is no match for the other three lifters coming up so interestingly enough nurudinov came out and absolutely smashed 220 for his opening lift and i can only speculate he chose this lift because he just wanted something on the board but now he's going to sit and wait 13 minutes before his next attempt i can only imagine what lifts or how he's warming up in the back room in between for that entire 13 minutes. So now we fast forward a bunch to Bejanian, the quiet Russian, and his opening attempt at 225. And hold on one second. Are those Nike swooshes drawn onto his Adidas lifters? He must have had a sponsorship deal with Nike and was like, sorry fam, I got a lift in my mains. Anyway, easy lift from the Russian. And look, we even have a power jerker in the mix adding to our little eclectic group of lifters. So back to Nurudinov for his second attempt at 230 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his opener and 13 minutes after his opener. Mumbles a few things on the bar, sticks his tongue out for a challenging clean and a very solid jerk. And a very understated single arm pump there. So now we have a pumped Mr. Ilian walking down the hallway, and I absolutely love the jog on stage. I've definitely copied this multiple times at weightlifting meets. He's going to open at 233 kilos, and this is what I love about Ilya. 
kind of that anti Klokov mentality. My man walks up, gets his grips, and goes. Nails 233, looks at the crowd, steps back, gives the weight a little kiss. This is a showman, ladies and gentlemen. This is his opening attempt, and it matched his best clean and jerk ever. Yelling into the crowd, what's up? The main event is here. Prototypical Ilya here, guys. Uh, always stands the clean up easy with one, two, three oscillations, and then he nails the jerk. Usually on his recoveries from his heavy attempts, you see his back foot coming forward first, which is rare and not recommended, but, you know, he's the king. So now the stoic Russian with the new Nike garage sales on his feet, attempting 236. He struggles a bit on the clean and just not enough to make that jerk. So back to Ilya running up on stage. This man cannot be stopped. All of the energy in the room directed to him. The platform is his throne and his subjects are in the arena. We have 239 for a new clean and jerk world record. Clean, no issue. Jerk up, up, and that's a no lift. So you notice how he recovered again with the back leg. Now he usually can get away with this because he's a god and the bar is usually in the right spot, but this time the bar was slightly in front of him and when he lifts that back foot off the ground, he doesn't allow himself to potentially walk this bar out and save the lift. So now the bar is back to Nerudinov to take a crack at 239 for a new world record and a very safe lead in the total. Remember, Nerudinov had snatched three kilos more than Ilya and six kilos more than Bedjanian. If he makes this, his total lead would be nine kilos over Ilya and 20 kilos over Bedjanian and a massive lift from the Uzbek. The crowd is straight up crickets right now after this lift. He's grabbing his singlet saying, Uzbekistan is number one Stan. Just a phenomenal lift. Now, we have two more lifts, and the first of the two will come from Mother Russia's own at 240 kilos. If he makes this lift, he will be propelled to be first in the clean and jerk with a world record, but he would still lose to Nerudinov in the total. A huge clean, and my God, he makes it. What is going on in Albany? My man stands there like, y'all remember the USSR? Just a massive lift from Bejanian. This session cannot get any better. Or can it? The Michael Jordan of Kazakhstan calls for 242, which again would be a world record in the clean and jerk and would be a win in the total. Cuts to the coaches and whoop. Oh, he's already started pulling. Just like that. One of the most clutch lifts I have ever seen. But see, this is my problem with weightlifting broadcast. The camera is head on. And uh, you would think that the camera people would know Ilya's setup. Also, you can't grasp the gravity of the lift in the arena, which to me, outside of Piros Dimas in Greece, and maybe some of the lifts in the Atlanta Olympic Games, might be the most electric crowd in weightlifting yet. So this angle, will give you a much better understanding of truly one of the greatest competitions and competition lifts of all time. Just incredible. So there you have it guys, one of the best weightlifting competitions ever and maybe one of the best competition lifts ever. Thank you guys so much for watching.